As you know, NetWatcher is an easy to use affordable managed detection and response platform. Uh, it's meant to give you a situational awareness picture of everything about security going on in your network and what to do about it. Uh, the platform contains a vulnerability scanner. It can operate as a seam where you can point all your syslogs or server and endpoint logs to it. Um, it can operate as a host intrusion detection system for all of your endpoints and servers, and it can also operate as an intrusion detection system, which is, which is what we're here to talk about today. But more important than that, it is a bigger platform that takes events from all these different silos into the cloud for an advanced correlation to turn um, the intelligence into actionable intelligence, and you can uh, do something about it. And when you uh, become an, a NetWatcher customer, you get this great customer portal here with an iPhone app as well. Um, and you see we've got a dashboard. Uh, we've got the ability to do very comprehensive reporting. You can look at all the alarms going off on the system. Um, you can uh, configure your sensor and point IPs to it. Um, you can actually manage all of your endpoints in one place. And um, most importantly, this advanced tab for today's talk um, is going to allow you to see everything we can do um, with all of the data. Now, you can use this advanced view to query all your data, whether or not it's the HIDs, the SIM, the vulnerability scanner, or the IDS. We're just going to look at the IDS uh, data today. So, you know, I'm going to come in here and say I want to see um, type data IDS. Uh, I might want to say I want to also see data from a particular uh, country like Iran and um, you know I could date and timestamp it as well. Uh, and if you'll see that the query ran here you'll see a couple things. One is a safe filter. Uh, the safe filter allows you to uh, set a tripwire. So if anything from this filter ever came in in the future, send me an SMS or send me an email. That's a really nice thing to do if you're looking for something specific. Um, let's drill into one of these events and um, see what we're dealing with here. And um, you also notice that right on the screen itself, you see what the signatures are. You see the host name, the IP address, the destination host name, the destination MAC address, also what sensor it triggered on, and uh, the date and timestamp. You also notice that um, it uh, you can do an export into Excel as well if you choose to. And um, if you open up the event, you'll see the event detail. Here is the country and um, where uh, the IP address from the country, uh, talking to what asset on our local network. You can figure out that this occurred 15 times. Um, you can see that, you know, what the header of the packet shows. Um, you can also look at the payload. You can look at the um, rule of the trips as well as the hex. If you want to see the entire net flow to figure out how much data transferred between the two systems, you can see that. And then really important, you can see all the related events that occurred uh, within the hour, within the day, within the week. And you can also leave comments here. You'll see comments here from our security analysts that work on your account as well because they live at the event level as well. Now, let's take a, um, a view of, let's look at a view of the grouped um, view here as well. I've um, I got a view here that is uh, everything from China um, on the IDS for last week. We'll apply that. Um, we can, you know, do the same sort of thing, which we can save the filter or chart it. And, um, you know, we can look at these charts in multiple different ways and click on anything in here. You can look at the chart as a line uh, chart or a pie chart as well, which sometimes uh, you'd like to look at something uh, in more detail. And it gives you all the events, but it tallies them up and sorts them by how many events it sees out there and allows you to get this link if you wanted to send this to somebody else as well. So all of this um, can be done um, by you on any of the uh, different types of data, not just the intrusion detection data. You could actually do it on um, all the products that we see out in the uh, 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 network, all the vulnerability scan events, the syslog events, and the HIDS events as well. So with that, uh, we hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'd like to see you as a customer.
Uh, talk to you uh, later. Thank you.